That's it, it's going into the river. Oh, shit. Let me try one thing. I'm gonna put this on sports mode and then see if I can fly away from it. And around it. Oh my god, only about 30 seconds. It's going down. Oh my god, 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh! So every time I bring my drone and film in one of these iconic locations, I usually like to take with me a spotter. And this is someone that is gonna look out for any hazards, uh, give me a warning if I'm too close to comfort, to a person, a building, a boat, whatever. Okay, so I'm bringing with me a set of uh, Hollyland Solidcom C1s. These are some really nice wireless intercoms because communication is key when you are on location, whether it's one person or a number of people. Now, these uh, headsets, they have a range of 350 meters. But this is a very congested area with lots of interferences, lots of signals, lots of mobile phones. So I would be very, very curious to see whether the range is true or whether it drops to 20 or 30 meters. But the footage is going to look amazing. <laughs> Long time no see, man. I see you with you. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is uh, Tower Bridge. We can go slightly over the buildings to the shard and okay. the town hall, but I'd rather we focus on the bridge on, today. On the okay. Side, yeah. okay. no, so no this is the one I'll be wearing, mm -hmm. the master headset. You get one of these batteries All right. and you're going to hear in a moment a voice that says, I can yeah, hear a voice. It's yeah. automatically connected. Okay, right. this is 350 meters. Wow. Okay, so from the maximum length that you're gonna be spotting, mm -hmm. which is close to the river, is 322 right. meters. We should be okay. People, mm -hmm. okay, vehicles, yeah. boats, buildings, bridges. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is plenty of space here, but there is a lot of risks. Yeah. I need you to be my eyes yeah. because I'm gonna be focusing on the screen. Maybe there is some wire. Mm -hmm. Maybe you spot something. Maybe I get close to a boat, which I probably won't, but there is some flying around. Anything. Mostly, it's, this is not rocket science. Yeah. I'm gonna be flying in. I'm gonna go up. Walk I'm gonna up. go around a little bit. Okay, so let's move to the takeoff site because yeah. the, the, the day is uh, cool. going away. Cool. Cool. It's probably a bit too early. The sun is too hot, but you know we're gonna rehearse the shots because. Uh, you know, sunset only comes once and otherwise it's a waste of day. You will have to sort of guess where it is, okay? But, I mean, you can sort of see, no? Yeah, it's going forward now. We're heading towards the bridge. Where is it? Where is it? I need to see it. I need to see it. Fuck. A guy just told me that there is a scrambler just above the Royal Navy Pier. Oh, shit. I lost it. If I try to go up, down or back, the drone by itself is going down. That's it. It's going into the river. Oh, shit. Let me try one thing. I'm going to put this on sports mode and then see if I can fly away from it. And around it, oh my god, I only got 30 seconds, it's going down, oh my god, 20 seconds, 15 seconds, oh! oh. <laughs> 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 that was, that was very How much you I really literally have like 15 seconds left, you know? <laughs> but is that, that was, that. so that, oh, I need to avoid that because... Yeah. Okay, wherever the pier is, yeah. Space. Man, it's space. I, you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna, you, it's like a wall. It won't come, it come this way. way. Okay. I spend like three, four minutes there. That freaked me out, and I'm like, what's going on? You know? I don't know if this guy knows. I think he's trying to get it back. Cause I heard your control a bit. Man, you know, thank you so much. <laughs> Is the Anson here on the video, man? So we're gonna move now to the bridge. Okay. As we discussed earlier. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if the signal is going to go through the scrum right ahead of us. So stay in touch because now it's the sunset and the sun is going down completely. Sure. And otherwise, you're going to miss it. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Cool. All right. I'm just going to move around, see if I can get connection. Tony, you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm going to move closer to you because the signal is breaking up, okay? Let me know when you're good to go. Uh, Tony, I moved to a new location. I'm going to be ready soon, okay? Okay, I'm no Okay, I'm going up. To the great customer of the sunset. Say hi to the camera. Right, I'm all bust down. Just let me know when you go just before over the bridge because I don't want to go into restricted airspace, okay? Yeah, you are all clear. I quickly sneaked out for a bit to this private space that very few people know it exists in this area where we're filming. Just to tell you about these uh, headsets, okay? This is really good stuff. If at any point in your filming career, whether it is flying drones, uh, camera, whatever it is that floats your boat, you're gonna want to up your game and get people involved whether it's just one person or a crew you're gonna need to communicate these are a fantastic accessory for anyone that values communication on set okay they are really lightweight the range is 350 meters today okay this is a very congested area so you know the range is not great it's around 40 or 50 meters but there is a lot of stuff going on in this area but I've been in film shoots where I've taken them to 280 meters or 325 meters. So the range is there where you have a much more normal environment. You know, battery life is 10 hours, six hours for the master set. I mean, that's more than enough for a whole day filming or even more. They're really easy to operate. And the coolest thing is that they sync up automatically. You have to do absolutely nothing. But the most important thing is that, you know, they're really comfortable. Sam, you copy? Uh, yeah, Tony. Okay, I'll, I'll be right up, okay? Look, we came here for the lights, so we better not be late, okay? Well, that was a really interesting night and day filming, wasn't it? We nearly lost the drone, we got some really cool footage, and I actually enjoyed a lot using the Solidcom C1 headsets, okay? I totally see myself using it on a regular basis now because once you get used to this level of communication, it's really difficult to go back to the traditional way of using walkie-talkies where you need to press one button and then talk to someone and the other person needs to do the same. Here it's much simpler, you just basically lift this if you want it to be muted or down if you want to talk to someone and it's a fantastic sound quality. Who is this for? Well, any type of film crew, whether it is one or two people, right up to eight or ten people. So commercials, short films, even if you are security on a film set, uh, head of departments, I mean hell, even restaurants, anybody that needs good and clear communication, this is a phenomenal piece of equipment. Do I recommend it? Yes. Am I going to use it again? Absolutely. 
And if you want to know more about the DJI Mini 3 Pro and how to get similar footage to what you've seen here, I've got this video here where I give you some tips that will get your footage looking amazing in no time. Click on it and I'll see you there.